these are my recommended books. These are the books that I own, that I have collected over some time, that I've, I've travelled and brought them back and they provide me with a lot of inspiration. I also do a lot of um, looking about online for inspiration, but there's something about having a book in your hands that really feels, it feels a lot more precious and you value it a lot more than just a JPEG image on your computer. Okay, I'm gonna start off in no particular order. So the first one I'm gonna show you is by Jake Parker, it's Drawings Volume 2. Drawings Volume 1 is also really good and Volume 3, I just don't have them. So this is the one that I bought off him. I actually bought it out of his own hands at CTN Animation Expo. CTN is where I got a lot of my books for this year and um, a lot of inspiring material um, went there. So if you ever get the chance to go to CTN uh, in California, then please do it because it, it's such a good time. Um, so I just want to show you a little bit about what's inside, just give you a little preview of it. So you've got like some really nice sketches. Um, these are all like, he just scans these in. They're all his uh, his real sketches, you know, they're, they're not like digitally remastered or anything. So you can see the, you can often see the construction lines behind them and it feels really nice. And of course him being a designer, uh, a world-class designer, every single one of these has just an amazing appeal. Whenever I invite friends round and stuff, this is when they see this on the shelf and they pull it down, this is always the one that gets them really excited. It's a lovely size and, uh, and shape. I really like the dimensions of it and everything. So anyway, um, now on to the next book. This one is an amazing book. Uh, this is The Art of Makoto Shinkai, so it's called A Sky Longy for Memories. Makoto Shinkai, if you don't know, is like a, an amazing anime director. He created um, uh, Journey to Agartha, he also made 5 centimeters per second and a bunch of others. And this is, this is the background art that his studio produces and oh my god, it one look at this and you're just like wow how did they make this and if you've ever watched any of his films you'll probably have been wondering the same thing and this book is fantastic because it goes into it breaks down the paintings sometimes and goes into how they were made others are just for show and they're just for inspiration but a lot of them have it in layers and it shows the process behind it which is fantastic as a as an animation wannabe animation director such as myself it's also translated into English which is very helpful um, and at the back here I'll show you a few more pages it's really quick I was very lucky to find this one. There's a little testimonial uh, section and this is with the the different art directors at the studio and you get a little interview with each of them, all translated into English. It's really, really nice to hear these guys, uh, to, to read about these guys and read from their point of view what their life is like and everything because they're the geniuses behind this beautiful artwork. Also want to show you Fantastical by Matt Gazer. So this is uh, an amazing book. I highly recommend it. I was lucky enough to meet him and get this, and buy this book off him. It's available on his website. I hope you do decide to. Just having a quick flick through you can see that these um, these illustrations are just incredibly beautiful. They've got the concept sketches with them and the colours are just so vibrant. And but above all, the imagination is what shines through here. Such vivid imagination. It's incredible. I, I really want to recommend this one. This is a fantastic book to get and it's endless amounts of inspiration. Another thing I picked up at CTN, it's called Ma Mariachi Samurai, it's by Jose Lopez and um, it's just a lovely book, it's really got this great quality about it, it's got one of these um, slip cases 
that you just take off like that and <laughs> straight away get blown away by that cover. The merging of different cultural uh, imagery and um, the design aesthetic is just something that really stands out in this book. If you have a look at some of these pages here, um, the appeal in each of the designs is fantastic. The shapes and everything, very simple, clear-cut shapes um, that the characters have, which kind of represent. Also, want to show you two more books quickly. These are two of my favourites to have on the shelf. Uh, first one is Paridolia by James Jean. This is a really cool book. I've actually taken off the slip cover, so this is what it looks like underneath. I just love that. That's why. So that's why I've taken that off. Inside, you see, you'll just see a huge range of his artwork. It goes from like a fine art stuff in the beginning this is all like really trippy crazy fine art stuff and then it goes to um, more of an illustration kind of thing commercial illustration and stuff I really love the colors most of all the colors are great uh, they're so inventive and so new and fresh and I've never like seen some of these colors like next to each other on the same canvas before um, but also the uh, the gestural drawings and just how much of a perfectionist he is he's just so incredibly good at what he does and, and it's kind of like an explosion of creativity on the page with these very very detailed sketchbook drawings so yeah if you uh, have the money definitely look into investing some money into this it's a really good source of inspiration it's really a crazy crazy book full of wicked uh, illustrations and, and fine art paintings. So yeah, this next one is my favourite book. So this is the one I recommend most of all probably. Um, it's by Koji Morimoto, it's called Orange. It's his scrapbook. It's an amazing inspirational book of drawings and illustrations. This guy just has my favorite style. It's just an incredible, incredible style. And um, I just love every page of this. I just, my brain is just feasts on the, on the wonderful compositions and colors, like really incredible composition choices. Very bold, very, um, very cool. He's got this incredible aesthetic appeal in all of his drawings. I mean, this guy is like the king of appeal, at least in my eyes. Ah, oh, it's just so nice. Barely gotten into it. There's so many pages and each one of them is so inspiring. It's kind of like an urban hip hop cyberpunk style um, throughout all of these. Um, it, just amazing architecture, amazing character designs. I, in my opinion, this guy is like my favorite in the world for his character designs and his um, architecture. He's also an animator and he can storyboard and he can direct so he's just he's just got it all he's got every talent that I'm after so this is like what I'm aiming for the kind of standard that I'd be aiming for in my lifetime What else can I say about it apart from it's an amazing, amazing scrapbook. Let me find some of my favourites. So he also does these, um, as well as the kind of cool hip hop, uh, cyberpunk characters all in there, really nice poses and stuff. He also does these gestural poses which are done with these lovely, I don't know if they're felt tip pens or colour pencils or something. The lines just move into one another and it, and it all looks very seamless. It's just... This page is my favourite um, out of all the pages just because I, I really like the designs of these characters and how simplified they are. I've actually been looking for a print of this one for like a long time but I just can't find a way to get a full print of that to put on my wall yeah it's a great book it's got so it's a combination of his commercial work that he's done for uh, different 
companies and things and magazines and stuff, um, DVDs, and also his um, his own personal work. So yeah, and and also things that have been taken out of anim- his um, animation, animatics, and storyboards and stuff, and put laid out really nicely. So absolute brilliant book. It's got these amazing detailed ink sketches with this scratchy style as well. So. This guy is like trying out so many different styles and if, if you're going to get any of the books, I, I recommend this one the most, Orange Scrapbook by Koji Morimoto. You won't be disappointed if you get it. All the links will be on the website and also in the description so that you can go and buy them. It would be really useful if you use the uh, affiliate links that I provide and uh, Thank you for watching. Goodbye. And put down the ideas of the different fight moves you're going to do, you're going to use. Um, I suggest trying it out in your next scene if you haven't used this method before. Um, it's adopted from thumbnailing, which is a method that is very common actually in two D animation, and it's different from the usual.